James Webb Space Telescope, one of the most powerful inventions of mankind, has been hitting headlines since its launch on December 25, 2021. It's the most powerful telescope ever launched into space, with greatly improved infrared resolution and sensitivity, allowing it to see objects that other telescopes can't see because they're too old, far away, or faint. The innovative James Webb Telescope took more than 30 years and $10 billion to bring to life. The James Webb Telescope is designed to unlock the buried secrets of the universe, and one among them will be the existence of aliens and planet Proxima b. To see how the secret operation will be carried out, stay tuned till the end of the video. For decades, the question that haunts everyone is the existence of aliens. It's good to visualize them in movies and books, but whether they're really present or not is a daunting question. The JWST is expected to help us in diving deep and knowing a little more about other aspects of space. Aligned with this, it's noted that JWST has achieved a new milestone for the Space Observatory. The 18 composite mirrors have aligned and function as a single massive mirror that captures images better and faster. As the mirrors have combined, it's not only able to capture the image of the star, but also distant galaxies falling behind the star. It's speculated that the alignment process is still going on and must end by May, followed by which the JWST might become available for scientific observations. It's estimated that the JWST will also help us to locate exoplanets in the universe as they're placed far away. That is also the main reason as to why scientists are interested to know more about them, as they might turn out to be habitable zones with necessities available there. One of the exoplanets is Proxima b, which is the closest planet to our solar system. Scientists strongly suspect this planet because a few years back, a strange signal was picked up from here in Australia while it was under observation. It was then picked up for a duration of 30 minutes for the next 7 days, after which it vanished completely. From the dips in light and wavelengths affected by these gases, the Washington researcher predicts that James Webb will be able to measure the amounts of methane and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of TRAPPIST-1E. Nathalie Ouellet, an astrophysicist, once said, What we're looking for, our holy grail, are biosignatures. That is, science of extraterrestrial life. We're talking about finding signs of biological activity or the signature of certain molecules. Based on the presence of such molecules, particularly in certain combinations, we may be able to determine that conditions are conducive to the development of life when we explore an exoplanet using the telescope. The presence of oxygen and methane in our atmosphere are the biosignatures they'd look for. These elements would react with others and vanish if life forms did not breathe these two gases in and out. Gas dwarf planets are some of the most hopeful planets to investigate when searching for alien life. Gas dwarfs, also known as mini Neptunes, are up to four times the size of Earth and have a rocky core, unlike gas giants like Jupiter. They're less massive than Neptune, but they shared Neptune's hydrogen and helium rich atmosphere, which could support life. There would be seven levels to this scale. The detection of biosignatures is the first level. As more data is gathered, you'll progress to level 7 on the scale. You'd most likely find alien life at this point. Scientists and astronomers are stressing on the fact that methane is an important proof to determine life for extraterrestrial beings. But one also cannot ignore the possibility that methane is one piece of the puzzle. One also has to consider a planet's geochemistry how it interacts with its star, and the many processes that can affect a planet's atmosphere over geologic timescales to see if it has life. One of the most important questions in science is whether there is life elsewhere in the universe. It's possible that the universe is constantly expanding or that we're completely alone, stranded on a lonely world and the vastness of space. In either case, the definitive answer will almost certainly necessitate significant psychological and philosophical adjustments on the part of humanity. What do you think about the discovery of alien civilization? Are you excited about it? Do let us know in the comments section below. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.